Welcome to Not Up at Charlie's Part 5. Okay, so if I ever get married, I'm going to have this thing, a clause, a Dirk Bentley clause. You know, where, you know, if I ever met him, you know, the singer Dirk Bentley, if I ever met him, I could cheat on my husband, you know. But I guess it'd be easier just to marry Dirk Bentley and have a stupid loser clause. Um, I would never date a guy that doesn't do his own laundry. Seriously, it's like, you smell good. I know your ma does your laundry. You're a fucking loser. It's like, you can figure out how to play a Beastie Boy song on the jukebox, but you can't figure out how to run a washing machine. Okay, hang on. Oh, hey, Tom. Tom Cruise. Oh, sh Why do you insist on me calling you that? Okay, but this is the last time. Superstar! Superstar! Who is a superstar? You are! You are! Superstar! What the, I told you no. I'm not joining your fucking cult, you maniac. Okay, bye. You know, I love you too, bye. He wants me to register as a Democrat. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's, it's like... They call you all the time trying to raise money and they try to put fear into you. It's like, well, I guess that's what the Catholics do. Well, the Mafia does that too. Well, every organization does it. Except for the Girl Scouts. The Girl Scouts don't try to scare anyone. But they do. I mean, they scare me, I mean. It's all those badges. It's like, are you a cop? <laughs> you know, we could end this war immediately by sending the Girl Scouts over. Kill them with compassion. Give those tall heads some cookies. They'd be like, You Americans are so kind, you give us confections. I'd declare this war over. Okay, Ahmed, but you owe me five bucks for those thin mints. <laughs> My friend's daughter wanted to take dance lessons, um, but uh, you know she couldn't afford them, so I, I told her I'd take care of it. So I, I took her little girl, Gabby, she's six years old, I took her down to the club, you know, to learn some moves, and uh, she really liked it, <laughs> you should have seen her at her school's recital, she was like, um, well, I'll just show you, I'll, I'll just show you what she did. God, it was fucking adorable. <laughs> so, um, I went to Mexico with my, with, um, when I was a kid, my mom. Mom? Mom? Where are you, mom? Oh, little girl, you belong to us now. Your mother traded you for 12 pesos, a Navajo blanket, and some diet pills. Oh, well. <laughs> having a flashback or something. No, Mexico was cool, but we got lost. We kept saying, Dunday, Texas, Dunday, Texas. No say, no say, you want to buy a watch? No, but uh, you got a map? <laughs> so how come on all these detective shows like CSI and shit, they're always going through the crime scene with flashlights? Don't tell me every murderer out there cuts the power. It's like, flip the fucking lights on. Don't tell me I'm the only one that notices this shit. So have you ever seen a horror movie that makes you afraid to do something like go camping or take a shower? There actually was someone who tried to kill me in the shower. I was like, Ma, it was funny the first few times. You know, <laughs> knock it off now. <laughs> she was, it's okay. She was just trying to get me back for being born. I was watching the local news the other night, and um, they were they were doing this story about this woman who had the largest collection of porcelain guardian angels. I was like, yeah, I'd like to go there and make it the largest collection of smashed porcelain guardian angels. 
This is for the time I got dropped on my head. This is for the time I fell off my bike. This is for the time I OD'd on Nightwell. Fuck you, you fucking fucking guardian angels. Hope you enjoyed stand up at Charlie's Park 5. <laughs>